coffee, for sure. A nice cup of coffee might seem like a great idea to wake you up for class, but mixing alcohol and depressant with caffeine a stimulant can be really confusing for your body. So avoid mixing energy drinks with alcohol when you go out. So the only real cure to a hangover is time. Sure, a brunch at the dining court the next morning after drinking sounds like a great idea, but eating after drinking has no impact on how your body processes the alcohol. There isn't anything you can do to outsmart your body. You can simply process the alcohol at the rate your liver says. And besides a pretty nasty hangover, there's other negative outcomes associated with risky drinking. I think a lot of people don't think about the, or it escapes them that it's illegal to drink underage. It's kind of, um, it's kind of become like almost a taboo. Like. But my friends who were there, they ended up getting slapped with a uh, minor with possession. Um, they had to take minor drinking classes and then they had to have it settled like in court. They actually had to go to court and like deal with it and they had to tell their parents. You can lose different leadership positions and different extracurricular activities or uh, if your job finds out you can get in trouble with them, get fired. You would likely end up on probation with your university. It's true, folks. Risky drinking can jeopardize your enrollment at Purdue. You could lose your housing contract or have to pay fees and fines to local police. Remember the lifeline law we mentioned? It protects you from criminal charges, but you still may need to talk to an administrator like one of us. And an underage drinking citation could have real long-term negative impacts as well. Are you thinking about applying for, I don't know, a job, maybe grad school? All of those folks will run background checks and they may need your discipline record. Not good. Mm -mm. So we've talked about how alcohol impacts your body, how to keep track of standard drinks. And we talked about what to look for when someone's had too much to drink and how to get them help. Also, also hangovers. We debunked a ton of myths about hangovers. We did a lot. Yeah. Good thing that's Purdue and our students are really smart. <laughs> I really think that's kind of all the time we've got. Thanks so much for listening to us. Until next time, party, party smart, smart, Purdue. Purdue. Bye. <laughs>